Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. This is my third lecture on mandible and I am going to discuss the outer surface of the lateral half of the mandible. So this is the outer surface of lateral half of mandible. We can observe that this is the body of mandible and this one is the ramus of mandible. Now this is the oblique line. What is this oblique line? This is basically the downward and oblique continuation of the anterior border of the ramus. So this is oblique line. Oblique line gives origin to buccinator muscle. which continues up to the anterior margin of the third molar. Now, somewhere here we can observe the mantle foramen. This is mantle foramen. Mantle foramen transmits the mantle nerves and the vessels. Now just anterior to the origin of buccinator muscle, we can observe two more origins given by the oblique line. These are origin of depressor levi inferioris and depressor anguli oris. So just below the mantle foramen and just anterior to the origin of buccinator muscle, the oblique line gives origin to origin to the depressor leva inferioris and the depressor anguli oris. Now One more origin. This is basically mantelis muscle. Origin of mantelis muscle, which is located in the incisive fossa. Now, this is basically insertion. The platysma muscle is inserted along the lower border of the mandible. Most of the lateral surface of ramus is basically meant for insertion of masseter muscle except the posterior superior region the lateral side of posterior superior region that is this region we can consider as neck so lateral surface of the neck is basically site for attachment of lateral ligament of temporomandibular joint and this is we know that this is coronoid process So, this is the origin of temporalis muscle, oh sorry, insertion of temporalis muscle. So, this is the outer surface of lateral half of mandible. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.